the heart must be emptied of every defilement and cleansed for the indwelling of the spirit it was by the confession and forsaking of sin by earnest prayer and consecration of themselves to god that the early disciples prepared for the outpouring of the holy spirit on the day of pentecost the same work only in greater degree must be done now unless we are daily advancing in the exemplification of the active christian virtues we shall not recognize the manifestation of the holy spirit in the latter rain it may be falling on hearts all around us but we shall not discern or receive it divine grace is needed at the beginning divine grace at every step of advance and divine grace alone can complete the work there's no place for us to rest in a careless attitude we must never forget the warning of christ watch unto prayer watch and pray always a connection with the divine agency every moment is essential to our progress we may have had a measure of the spirit of god but by prayer and faith we are continually to seek more of the spirit we should pray as earnestly for the descent of the holy spirit as the disciples prayed on the day of pentecost if they needed it at that time we need it more today without the spirit and power of god it will be in vain that they labor to present the truth